I have figured out the best workflow ever for Claude Code. After testing all 15 possible ways you can be using Claude Code, the way I'm about to show you is the fastest, best, and most efficient. Whether you're brand new to Claude Code or a seasoned vet, if you stick with me until the end, you will be building faster with Claude Code than you ever have before. Let's get into it. So this is Ghosty. What you're looking at here might not look like much, but this is by far the best way to be using Claude Code. Let me show you why. So we've covered this in a prior video, but there's a few popular ways to use Claude Code, whether it's the extension inside cursor or VS Code, whether it's the desktop app, whether it's the CLI in VS Code. Up until now, the CLI in Visual Studio Code was the best. Visual Studio Code gave it a really nice interface to see code while you're working with Claude Code. But there's one major issue with using Visual Studio Code or cursor with Claude Code that has made it intolerable for me now. And that is the speed. If you have more than one Visual Studio Code or one cursor open at any given time, it slows your computer down to a halt. If you've been using Claude Code in the past, this is probably how you use it, right? You have Visual Studio Code open, you have either the extension or the CLI open. And if you wanna work on two or three projects, which in my previous video, the creator of Claude Code recommended doing, you would have to open up two or three three of these visual studios or cursors. The memory consumption on these apps are unbelievably high. You open up a second or third one of these and your computer basically turns boiling hot and it slows down to a crawl. That's where the Claude Code CLI in the terminal comes in, specifically Ghosty, which I will show you how to set up in just one second. This is the reason why it's the best. You can have open hundreds of these terminals and your computer will still run fine. So it is by far the best speed. It is the best features and functionality. Something we figured out over the last month or so is that Claude Code in the terminal gets all the updates and features first. It got the latest plan mode before all the others, before the extension, before the desktop app. It gets all the features first. So using it in the terminal, you're getting the best features and functionality, and it allows you to multitask because you can open up so many terminals without slowing down your computer. You can work with as many Claude codes as you want at the same time. The CLI in the terminal, specifically Ghosty, which I'll show you in a second, destroys the CLI and VS Code, the desktop app, the extension, any other way you use it. So let's talk about setting it up. All you need to do is go to ghosty.org. That's with two T's in there. You hit download. It's completely free. What is Ghosty? All Ghosty is, is a customizable terminal with more features and functionality. So it is exactly like the terminal that is on your PC or Mac, except it is much easier to use than your standard terminal. You can easily customize Ghosty with thousands of built in themes and colorways. Also, you can do things like split the terminal very easily. So one click, I can say split right, it gives me a second terminal in this one window. And now I can do things like run my servers right next to Claude code, which is amazing. I'll go into this in a second as well. You can also do things like have multiple tabs, which are super efficient and easy to switch to as well. It is just so much more usable quick and efficient than not only VS code and cursor and all those, but also just your regular terminal as well. As for setup, it is super simple. If you've never used Claude code before, just take the command I'll put down in the description, paste it into Ghosty, you have Claude code installed, sign up for a subscription on Claude's site and you are good to go. Then all you need to do once you've installed Claude code into your Ghosty is just type in Claude and you will see the window you see here, which is Claude opened up inside your ghosty terminal. So let me show you my workflow now. I'm gonna build a full application here with Claude code inside ghosty. I'm gonna show you how I multitask. I'm gonna show you how I run servers. I'm gonna show you how I edit code files. I'm gonna show you beginning to end my workflow with Claude code and ghosty and show you why it is the absolute best. The first thing we're gonna do after we open up Claude code inside ghosty, just type Claude right now if you haven't yet, is we're gonna go into plan mode. So that is shift tab and then shift tab and you'll see plan mode on. The plan mode inside Claude Code inside the terminal is the best plan mode out of them all. I know it sounds strange. I've tested them all. First of all, they just added plan mode into the desktop app. So the desktop app didn't even have plan mode before. But the extension previously, the plan mode was like a nerfed plan mode where it wouldn't ask you questions. So this plan mode 
inside the terminal has the latest features and functionality and is by far the most powerful. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to build out a really simple application you can build out with me right now and will be totally usable that you can just use after this demo. So feel free to pause and do this alongside with me. It's the best way to consume my videos is doing everything I do. But let's build out a habit tracking app, an advanced AI driven habit tracking app. Along the way, I'll show you all the tips and tricks of this advanced workflow. So here we go. Here's the prompt we'll use. And I'll put this down below. Feel free to pause and grab this and paste this into your own ghosty terminal. I want to build out a habit tracking app. I want to be beautiful, but simply themed. I want to track my habit streaks and, and excellent animations and visuals that make the app satisfying and allow me to track my mood. I'd also like advanced AI functionality. Feel free to ask me questions to come up with more ideas. By default, Claude's planning mode asks you questions already to tease out more ideas and features. But I also just like to say that feel free to ask me questions because then it will encourage it to ask even more questions. I find the more that Claude code interviews me, the better the app turns out to be. So I always put that at the end. So a little tip and trick for you there. I'm going to hit enter on this and it is going to get to work. I also find Claude code in the terminal here is also just a lot faster as well. Maybe it's because of the memory management. Again, cursor and VS Code take up so much memory on your computer, but I just find this to be a lot faster as well. Uh, as this goes, I'm really excited to show you the multitasking functionality and how to do that as well. Something that's very difficult to do if you do this in VS Code or cursor. We'll get into that shortly, but let's get this first part set up here. So it's going to start asking me tons of questions, which I love. The more questions it asks you, the better this app will be. We're going to make this a web app. What kind of AI features are you envisioning? Let's do an AI habit coach. So your habit tracker will actually coach you on which habits you want to do. So I like that. Let's hit next. What visual style appeals to you the most? Let's go with a dark and elegant theme. I like that dark and elegant, easy on the eyes. And how do you want to visualize your progress? Let's go with all visual types just so we can see what we can fit into this app. So we'll do all visualization types and hit submit. And then we can submit our answers. Super easy to use. I find that when it asks you questions like the extension, it's not quite as simple to use. It seems like when you're doing Claude code in the terminal, it's just the most up-to-date, easiest way to use the app. And now it's come back and asking me more questions, which I love. How should the habits be organized and tracked? Let's do simple checkboxes. What AI provider will use Claude's API? How should the data be stored? We'll do local browser storage. And what mood tracking granularity do we, do we prefer? Let's just do it simple and submit answer. What's beautiful about this plan mode is it usually asks you questions around things you didn't even think of or consider, right? Like I didn't even think of ways we can track the mood or how we want to design that. But because Claude asked me questions about it, it kind of teased those details out of me that I didn't even think of. So that's why I really love this plan mode, especially in the terminal. So here's where things start to get interesting. While this is building out our app, I'm going to open up a second app to work on. Here's one of people's biggest mistakes is when Claude is working or any other AI is thinking or working for you, they will get distracted. They'll go, they'll surf Twitter, they'll surf TikTok, they'll surf YouTube, and they'll get totally distracted while their AI is working. The key is multitasking. The issue is if you tried multitasking, with the Claude code extension in VS code or with the CLI and cursor, you open up two or three cursors or VS code and your computer totally slows down. The memory management on VS code and especially cursor is horrible and slows down your computer. But since this is just the terminal, this is super easy to do. All we need to do now is either open up a new window or we can open up a new tab. I'm going to pull open this second window that actually has my creator buddy app in it. And I'm gonna work on that while we are working on this habit tracking app. So here we go, we have the second window open. My computer is running as fast as it's ever gone before. I'm gonna hit yes, continue over on the left on our habit tracking app. And then I'm gonna to talk to my AI on the right. I'm gonna say, take a look at our app. Which other features should we add to this that will increase 
engagement. Something I love to do, just brainstorm with the AI back and forth on new features to add. I'm going to go into plan mode on that and hit enter. And now we have two AIs working for us, right? On the right-hand side, I'm working on my second app. This is something you should be doing, working on multiple apps at once. This is so efficient. So we're brainstorming with the AI on the right in my second ghosty window that's coming up with new features for my other app, while on the left-hand side, our AI is building out our habit tracking app. Again, if you watched my last video, which I'll link down below as well, which is the video on Boris, who is the creator of Claude Code's workflow, you'll know he works with five Claude Code windows at once. For me, five is a little tough, so I like to do just the two here. It allows me to focus on just these two projects, but this is something you can do as well. A question I get a lot is, can I work on the same project in multiple windows? The answer to that is yes as well. Well, what you'd want to do is ask Claude Code to create a new branch for you in a new working tree. This is all GitHub functionality that makes sure your code is separate from each other when you're working on the same project in multiple windows. So just make sure if you're working on the same project in multiple windows to say, hey, make sure we do this in separate branches. And that will ensure your agents don't step on each other's toes. If you want a full video on that workflow, specifically having multiple windows on just one project, let me know down in the replies below too. This is one of the greatest advantages to using this workflow of the Ghosty Terminal is you can easily have multiple windows up on your screen at once. When you're using VS Code or Cursor, it takes up so much of your screen because of all the code and all that. With here, it's very small, very simple. You can see only what Claude code is doing. You don't need to see the code. Opus 4.5 is so good, you no longer need to check on the code it's writing. You're good enough just having these terminals open. In a second, we will test this new habit tracking app and I'll show you some other tips with this workflow which is really really powerful but right before we do that if you've learned anything so far make sure to leave a like down below subscribe really critical turn on notifications all I do is make amazing videos about Claude Code and AI. And if you want to join a Vibe Coding community, in the description down below is Vibe Coding Academy, my newly launched community with hundreds of people in it. You get to hang out, weekly calls, and work with other builders. But let's get back to the workflow. All right, so the app finished building over here on left. The habit tracker is all done. What I'm going to do now is show you how I multitask and debug and all that when it comes to the app itself. All you need to do is in the top, you hit file, then split right. That splits our terminal in two. And what I like to do here is I run the server on the right-hand side. So I do npm run dev. This is now running on localhost 3003. I can now continue to work on the left-hand side in Claude while monitoring the server logs on the right-hand side. So let's do this. Let's open it up. Let's check out what, what we got here. This is looking good. Let me fit this in here. Boom. Look at this. So we have good afternoon. We have our habit tracker here, our streaks today. I like the theme, it's nice and dark. Let's add a habit I want to read. We'll give it the book icon, we'll make it purple, we'll create the habit. There we got it there, let's add another one. Exercise, I wanna make my muscles big, so let's give it that icon, let's make it red, create the habit. We can track our mood, how am I feeling today? I'm feeling great, because I'm filming for YouTube. That's amazing, feeling great. Let's see, I was going to check this off. Check it off. We get a nice confetti feature. Oh, look at that. You get to track your rings like it's Apple. That's really cool. You have different tabs. You can have insights. That's really cool. Looks like we have a couple errors here. What's great about this strategy, again, is you get everything in one screen. So I can see my server logs, see where we're getting errors, easily be able to copy and paste it over into Claude here. Uh, and it's, it's just so much easier and more efficient and your computer just runs much faster because of the memory efficiency. I'm getting so much more done because I can have the servers on the same screen as Claude Code. I can have multiple terminals open without my computer slowing down, be able to go back and forth. So now I can go in here, give Claude another prompt for what to work on while continuing to work on my other app on Creator Buddy and finding new features we can build out. Here's something else I like. Well, let's open, let's open up a third terminal. I'll go new window here. This is in our chat bot. I'm going to open up Claude in this third window. We now have three Claudes working. I opened it up in our habit tracker project. 
And now I'm going to say, you're a project manager for this app. Take a look at the app and give me a rundown for improvements. So now I have multiple windows going. I have one here as the project manager, right? It's going, it's looking at our app. It's giving us recommendations. Any good recommendations it comes up with, I'm just going to copy and paste over to our developer Claude over here on the left. And now we are multitasking like crazy. If I want to open up another terminal and have it be our marketer and have it start writing tweets for X, I can do that as well. This is the true amount of multitasking that is unlocked by going with this ghosty terminal strategy that was not possible with VS Code or Cursor before just because of the slowness of that process. Another question I get a lot is, okay, Alex, how do I edit files if I need to? How do I add environment variables if I need to? Well, that's not too tough either. All you would need to do is open up a finder window, go to whatever file you want to edit, and you can just open it up. If you want to open it up with a text editing app, you can do that as well. I just open it up and it opens it up in anti-gravity. I don't know why. It was just the default one. It opens up anti-gravity. I make a change to the code and then I close anti-gravity so that we can serve memory. Very simple to make changes. Be again, because Opus is so smart, you're not really having to make any code changes or look at the code at all. So it is very rare that you have to do something like that. One last tip I'll give you real quick, just expanding on it a little bit more. If I wanted to start making changes in our code for this project in this second window, right? So now we have two windows open for this habit tracker. One is kind of our main developer or we have another one, maybe we want to make small changes in here. All I need to do is say, create a new branch for a second feature we are building and put it in a new work tree. This will create a separate set of code that it will work on so it doesn't step on each other's toes, so it doesn't destroy what each other are working on. You just need to make sure you have this code up on GitHub first so that you can create these branches and work trees. Again, if you want a full breakdown video on that workflow, let me know down in the replies below as well. I have tried every Claude code workflow on the planet as of this date that this video is posted. This is my favorite workflow ever. I get a bunch of complaints when I show new workflows like, hey, last week you told us this workflow. Yeah, this is a very fast moving space. It changes every single day. Next week we might have a completely new workflow we use. But as of this posting, this is, in my opinion, by far the fastest, most efficient workflow that keeps your computer moving fast and allows you to multitask the easiest. Again, if you learn anything at all, leave a like down below. Subscribe Vibe Coding Academy if you want a community of Vibe Coders as well. Link in the description and I will see you in the next video.